In this video, I'll show you how to collect your user's first and last name and reference them either together or separately. The first thing we need to do is ask our user for their name. So in a regular node, I'll place the dedicated person name capture card. Here, I'll ask them a nice message like, can I have your name? And I'll save that answer in a variable called username. You'll see here that the format for this variable is not a string or text format like usual, but is instead a separate object. That's because the name variable stores your user's first and last name separately, so you can reference them either together or apart. To reference a user's first name or last name separately, we can use the following formula. Let me show you this with a simple text message card. For their first name, we'll type in workflow.username.first and for their last name, we'll type in workflow.username.last. Each of these will resolve to your user's separate first and last names corresponding to the variable you've chosen. Now that we know how this works, let's test it out. In a simple text message card, I'll say your first name is workflow.username.first and in a separate one, I'll say your last name is the same thing, but I'll use the last name notation. Now let's test this out in the emulator. If I say hi, I say that my name is Robert Soup, we see that our bot was able to correctly determine that my first name is Robert and my last name is Soup. Pretty cool. Happy bot building.